I'm David Bryan. I'm with ShopBot Tools, and I'm going to show you our HandyBot Smart Power Tool. Uh, it's our newest offering. Uh, what it is essentially is a portable CNC. So you'll see um, that you're able to plop this tool down on just about any surface, and instead of bringing material and putting it onto the tool, here you're putting the tool onto the material. Uh, so you'll see an example I cut earlier where uh, we're just right down on this table and we carved in the ShopBot logo. Um, so other than the portability and the ability to cut through the bottom, which allows this uh, carving right in place, uh, we have a suite of accessories that allows you to fixture the tool, whether it's uh, a jig for cutting on walls or even ceilings, uh, a whole suite of accessories. We've open sourced the tool so um, other folks can develop accessories if they care to. All of the digital files that it would take to either make your own HandyBot or create an accessory for it are posted on our website. Um, so we think that's new. Uh, in, in doing that, we also allow folks to sort of customize and tailor the tool to their job. So maybe this exact footprint and form factor isn't the best for all jobs out there. So by having the digital files, folks will be able to perhaps increase the size, change it in some way that allows it to be tailored to their application. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, paired with the hardware, uh, we have uh, the idea of a software or application ecosystem that will surround the tool. So by trying to make the tool easier to use, uh, we've come up with this idea of applications where users will uh, choose a job-specific, task-specific application uh, from their smartphone going through our app environment then they'll be able to make some uh, just simple, intuitive choices that customize that application to their specific job. And then they'll be able to send that customized application to the tool where all the final post-processing and motion um, interpolation happens. So yeah, why don't we take a look and see, uh, see it in action? So we can carve another one of these ShopBot logos here. So you can see the sort of quality you can get. That was with no hold down whatsoever. That's just the tool sitting right on the surface. Um, that's, that's fairly typical. Um, when you're doing heavier duty cuts, even some of the 3 8 inch plate aluminum that make up the tool itself, uh, you, can, you can cut those parts with the HandyBot. When you're doing that kind of work, you probably go for a little bit uh, more hold down, uh, whether you're clamping to your bar stock, bolting to it, or even uh, sometimes we'll use a spray adhesive and just stick the tool down, and then you can do much heavier duty cuts uh, when, when you go that route. But, you know, generally our idea is uh, to take this power and bring it into a portable package where now I can take this to a job site and uh, do the work that needs to be done without moving materials around or carrying a huge bag of tools. I can sort of do everything within this one fairly convenient package. Very cool. Do you have a price point on it yet? Yeah, so we're probably going to settle in at first around 2500 and then if we can get enough volume of sales, 
we can lower the price because of course we can get better pricing on our raw materials. So we'd love to sell it two thousand or less dollars. You guys did a Kickstarter on this, right? It's currently up right now our Kickstarter uh, and our goal was 125,000, a fairly modest goal, but we wanted to just get a sense of how much interest is out there, and we've been overwhelmed with the overwhelmed and excited with the response. We're up to around 300,000 with uh, about a week left, so uh, it's been successful, and we're about getting geared up to start manufacturing these pretty soon here. Cool. Uh, thanks, David. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs>